Hey everyone! Welcome to Word Wonders. Today, we're diving into compound nouns. Those fun, two-part words that make English both interesting and tricky. So, let's break them down and learn how to use them correctly. Ever wonder why we say notebook, but also ice cream? Or why some words get hyphens and others don't? Well, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what compound nouns are, how to spot them, and how to use them like a native. All right, grab your coffee cup or laptop, and let's dive into the world of compound nouns. What is a compound noun? A compound noun is a noun consisting of two or more words working together as a single unit to name a person, place, or thing. Compound nouns are usually made up of two nouns or an adjective and a noun, but other combinations are also possible as well. Generally, the first word in the compound noun tells us what kind of person or thing it is, or what purpose he, she, or it serves, while the second word defines the person or object, telling us who or what it is. For example, water plus bottle becomes water bottle. A bottle used for water. Dining plus room becomes dining room. A room used for dining. Back plus pack becomes backpack. A pack you wear on your back. Police plus man becomes policeman. A police officer who is a man. Like other nouns, compound nouns can be modified by other adjectives. For example, I need to buy a large water bottle. That's a beautiful dining room. My old backpack is still my favorite. A lone policeman foiled the attempted robbery. You can recognize compound nouns because the meaning of the two words put together is different than the meaning of the words separately. For example, water and bottle have their own separate meanings, but when we use them together, they mean a particular type of bottle that we drink water from. Forming compound nouns. As mentioned, compound nouns are formed by combining two or more words, with the most common combinations being noun plus noun, or adjective plus noun. However, combinations using other parts of speech are also possible. Here are the various combinations used to create compound nouns. Noun plus noun. There are a great number of compound nouns formed using the noun plus noun combination. For example, backpack, bathroom, bathtub, bedroom, bus stop, fish tank, football, handbag, motorcycle, shopkeeper, tablecloth, toothpaste, wallpaper, water bottle, website, wristwatch. Adjective plus noun. There are also many compound nouns that are formed using the adjective plus noun combination. For example, full moon, blackberry, Blackbird, blackboard, cell phone, mobile phone, hardware, highway, 
Greenhouse Redhead Six Pack Small Talk Software Whiteboard Other Combinations Although the noun plus noun and adjective plus noun combinations are the most common, there are also plenty of other possibilities for forming compound nouns. For example, noun plus verb, haircut, rainfall, sunrise, sunset, noun plus preposition, hanger on, passerby, noun plus prepositional phrase, brother-in-law, mother-in-law, noun plus adjective, cupful, spoonful, attorney general, notary public, heir apparent, body positive, time poor, court martial, verb plus noun, Breakfast, washing machine, runway, pickpocket, swimming pool. Preposition plus noun. Bystander, influx, onlooker, underpants, upstairs. Verb plus preposition. Check in, check out, or check out. Drawback, look out, make up. Adjective plus verb. Dry cleaning, public speaking. High flyer, hard drive, blackout. Preposition plus verb. Input, output, overthrow, upturn. Writing compound nouns. Compound nouns are very common both in written and spoken English, and there are spelling, punctuation, and pronunciation norms that we must be aware of if we want to use them correctly. The three written forms of compound nouns. Writing compound nouns is a bit complicated due to the fact that they can take three different forms. First, open compound nouns or spaced compound nouns are those that are written as two separate words such as washing machine, swimming pool, and water bottle. Second, there are hyphenated compound nouns, as in, check in, hanger on, and mother-in-law. Third, there are closed compound nouns, or solid compound nouns, those that are written as one word, such as, rainfall, drawback, and toothpaste. Unfortunately, there aren't any rules that tell us which of the three forms is acceptable for a particular compound noun. Some compound nouns are commonly written in two forms, as in website or website, check out or check out, while others, such as bus stop, are strictly used in one form. When more than one option is correct, the choice often depends on the type of English being used, like American or British English, the style rules of a publication, or the writer's personal preference. If you're not sure which of the three forms to use, it's important to check a good, up-to-date dictionary. Finally, remember that, no matter which way the compound noun is written, 
It always functions grammatically as a single unit. Pluralizing compound nouns. We usually pluralize a compound noun by adding an s or es to the main word or the defining word of the compound noun. This is usually the second word, but not always. For example, bedroom, bedrooms, football, footballs, water bottle, water bottles, full moon, full moons, but secretary general, secretary's general, mother-in-law, mother's-in-law, passerby, Passersby. When it's not obvious which of the words is the defining word, we pluralize the end of it. For example, haircut, haircuts, check-in, check-ins, check-out, check-out, check-outs, check-outs, upturn, upturns, Pronouncing compound nouns. In general, compound nouns are pronounced with the emphasis on the first part of the word. For example, bedroom, blackbird, check-in, greenhouse, makeup, water bottle. Pronouncing compound nouns in this way helps us distinguish words that form a compound noun like blackbird and greenhouse from other instances when the same words would appear together as in look at that beautiful blackbird or I like that greenhouse on the corner. Although we normally stress the first word in a compound noun, there are certain exceptions to this pattern. For example, we disregard this rule when pronouncing compound nouns that include titles or proper nouns, as in Secretary General, Secretary General, and Mount Rushmore, Mount Rushmore. If in doubt, you can use a good dictionary to determine which syllable should be emphasized. That's all for today. Now you know how to spot and use compound nouns like a pro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun lessons. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Word Wonders.